Hello everyone, my name is JBR and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Oh, free coin. Didn't know I could hear those guys. That's cool. Yep, those two Pokemon are very similar. Alright, so we just made our way into this new town. Ooh. Which the gym looks like it's up here. Which I'm hoping this will take me up. And is the gym closed? Vault in the loser. I'm late, I'm late. Alright. Now it's closed. Ah, Kofu, wait! Ah, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh, hey, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it. Of course you are. That big man that just left is Kofu, the leader of Kaskarafa Gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him. Today he's run off to the market without his wallet. Well, he's fucked. He'll be in big trouble without it. I said. That's where you come in, kind gym challenger. Could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Sure. Oh, you were too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. Alright. Oh, it's a Venonat. This can be your gym test. Here, if you do this for me, you pass. Kofu's headed to Porto Marinada. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. Careful, though. There may be dangerous Pokemon in the desert. I was wondering how this was gonna be a gym challenge, just running across town. But he's running. Oh my god, uh, he's all the way over here now. All right, and she made it sound like I have to cross the desert to get there. So maybe I'll stop at the for the Titan badge. It would be nice if I had a water Pokemon. My best bet's a Cottonweed, probably. All right, um, that's to the west. Not sure what all I'm gonna need. I think I can just run right here and get to the desert. It's good because I was worried. I wasn't clear how to get to the desert. So I'm glad that it's easy, but Saw this snake thing right before I saw that fan feed. So, silly cobra. Have I battled one before? No. Alright. So let's just start chucking some great balls at it. And hope. Mmm. We'll toss a few more and hope that one of them sticks before I try. Before I start all out it. Oh, there we go. And I think Silly Cobra is going to have to join the team. Uh, it's a sand snake. Silly Cobra's neck pouch, which can inflate and deflate like a balloon, gets more elastic each time Silly Cobra sheds its skin. Alright. So, what do I name? So, I had some thoughts when looking for a name, and I eventually started thinking of Solid Snake. And so, while well, I thought of naming him just Solid Snake or Big Boss, we'll gonna name a Metal Gear. God, Metal Gear is supposed to stay with me. Uh, foxes. Alright. Uh, who can... 
So it has to be either Fildic, Stone Tree, or Cottonweed. I need the type diversity, so it's going to have to be um, whoever I just got rid of. Bonsai, Stone Tree. Alright, so he has a bulldoze. But is Brutal Swing? Does that do. It should do damage. What moves can he remember? Nope. Don't want either of them. Rock Tomb's not bad. Mud Shot's not bad. Teach him Rock Tomb. Just so, yeah. What does he think? Oh wait, he wants to forget minimize. Look, we're in we're in agreement. Alright. So now I need to get Just wanna see how he does against some of these. Okay, cool. him whatever it was let's battle this guy challenged by Raquel the student Shellers. I hope it doesn't do any water attacks. What did I just say? Let's play it again. I don't have much of an advantage in this. These two facing off. Oh good, he flinched. Do some of you don't really have more. I don't know what a knack slack is. Knackle. Stack. Alright. Alright. It looks like a stone thing. Not very effective, I figured. You know, I could have sworn I hit the right bumper. So he would have gone terrestrialized, but I guess I didn't. Just a viper? How many Pokemon does he have? I know that's something it. Okay, it's the last one. I do appreciate all three of them being new to me. So he's helping me fill out my Pokedex, which is great. I guess I can't get poisoned because I'm paralyzed. Hmm. Good thing that didn't crit. Ah, that was fun. Heels. 
uh, paralyze you. All right, now I need like a hundred health. I guess this is my call to say. Hey, Yagerbra, apparently this desert is home to the quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, ground's been shaking off and uh, on and er, made me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm gonna just sit down, rest a little bit before I get back to Titan hunting. That's right, so do I have any attacks that are... Oh, six rare candies. Oh, I need to use these. But first, what do I have that would be strong against like a ground type? Uh, mud shot, maybe. Metal claw. No one can learn metal claw. I'm just don't have quite the right Pokemon for. this. I think it's it. I need that. He needs one more type attack. on Cottonweed. Oh, that got him up to 33. Uh, cotton Spore. Nope. Don't need that. But at least he can evolve. And we got a Jump Luff. If I just like really power him up. No, no cotton spore. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I was like, I want to give 41. What does U turn do? After making its attack, the user rushes back to switch places. That's helpful. I'm thinking get rid of poison powder or sleep powder. Probably get rid of poison. Nah, you gotta keep fairy wind. Alright. Now, one last time. All of that for one level. Alright. I am really going to count on Jump Luff for this. I did not expect to put all of these at Jump Luff, but... Right. And I could get six more levels, but I don't think I quite need that right now. Alright. Oh, I didn't see this fanfy here. We'll test out jump loops. Uh, do some U turn. Oh, yeah, and then he wants me to. I forgot how that attack works. Even though I just. Put him out there. Oh, you saw knowing an ice attack is helpful. 
probably. sand things. Oh yeah, I know. I was pulling this up. So I could set it as my destination. Instead of just blindly charging ahead. Aw. It's rolling shit. That's a big Dawn fan. Hello, oh, Yabra. Yeah, it's Professor Seda. Great Tusk is the Pokemon that came from the greater, Great Crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution, of course. Okay, um... How does it feel about sleeping? start. Now let me do some damage. None of these are going to be effective against him, are they? Aerial Ace is at least stab on this right now. Okay, and that... I think is enough damage in one attack that I can make this work. switch but I'm already you know crystalled up all right Ooh, his attack did a good bit of damage but hopefully I can get one or two of these in ah oh, why does that do so much damage what level is he it doesn't say Close. Ah, oh, shit. Wait, that was enough? Ah, oh, sweet. Okay. Now. 
That'll do. So that's... Oh, I still have to find him. Alright. <laughs> oh, he's just over there. I guess I, this would save a little time. It's a, well, it's nice to know that now I don't have to battle any ground Pokemon as a gym or anything else. Yeah, bro. Looks like you found yourself a Titan. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Uh, is, is that thing even a Pokemon? Must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show that thing what you and me can do, Jaegerbra. It's funny that it has to destroy that wall to get a snack. Okay, so that's not very effective. That's good to know. I think if we just really... Oh, what the fuck is a Sko villain? That thing's terrifying. Why has it got two heads? I'm gonna use the Sko villain I caught nearby. This is a real spicy victory. This is gonna burn. That's not as much damage as I would have liked. And he does 52. Fuck me. Oh shit. So flying is effective against... <laughs> oh wait, that was his Pokemon, that's fine. Um, Arvin, tell me you have another Pokemon. Arvin! Arvin doesn't have another fucking Pokemon? What? What is wrong with him? Why would he show up here with one Pokemon? How- Brick Break. Arvin, how useless can you be? I'm gonna have to assume that he can do like 50 damage in an attack. That did 57. Ah, that's so little damage! Rapid spin. Ah, oh, fuck. And his, that brings his speed up. So what... I have something that heals for a hundred, right? No. Not not just a hundred, I have to do more. Kill it or just get it very low. So much damage.
Please tell me I just have to get him low. I... Shit, I do have to beat him. And I don't remember... I don't remember if... What's this energy root? It does... Yeah. I don't... Just in case he would attack first, I don't want him to attack first. I could have attacked, and it should have been fine, but you never know. You defeated the Titan Great Tusk. Dick is evolving. Didn't even. He was like so not in that fight. Into an Ephoros. Ooh, Thunder Punch. That sounds like a cool move. Yeah, definitely forget something. Maybe, so it's a 75-100, so it's a lot better than Thundershock. What's he think? Forget Thunder Wave. I'm okay with that. Yes. Nice going, little buddy. What even was that thing, though? I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. Anyway, I bet if we head inside, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica it was eating. We're lucky there'll be another herb here. I knew it. it really is here. This is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. You and Arvin found the sour Herba Mystica. Woohoo! We did it! Thanks, Sherbra. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Okay, sour Herba Mystica. Chock full of nutrients, great for boosting your overall health. Says here it works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. If I could just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for, Yabra? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us. Here, hiya, watcha! And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special sandwich. And it comes inside of Titan Badge as a token of my gratitude, of course. Quaking Earth Titan defeated.
I I I did that in his voice. Oh come on, you again? Do you want to give your sandwich to Karidan? I'm sh assuming if I say this is mine, he is still going to get it. And since I said here you go last time. Maybe you want to give your sandwich to Karidan after all. This is mine. Grun. All right, it's not going to change apparently. Yams. Huh, is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff. So it's only fair that you get more. Aww. I definitely absolutely did not make extra so that Cryden could have a sandwich, okay? Chomp chomp snarf strum. Oh shit. He can glide now. So I'm guessing I can only descend. Not ascend. Yeah. Man, these Urban Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they'd better, or else I'm really up the creek. <laughs> don't you dare touch that. That isn't for you. Akiga. Oh, uh, sorry. I haven't. I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Abra. Come on out, bud. Does he have the matching one? Oh. This is my boss. My boss stiff. Agia. Oh, is he even old Pokemon he's trying to heal up? Because that's unexpected. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. He never really recovered. Nothing seems to help. Not potions, not Poke Centers, nothing. Oh shit, I didn't read that. So I promised that I'd make him better, whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over, and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's why I found out about Herba Mystica. You've done your research. And here I thought you were dumb. Yeah, see, I found this book in my mom's lap. Say it is your mom. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We called these Titan Pokemon. Alright, that makes sense. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things. Stuff nobody usually believes. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. 
I mean, we are seeing these giant Pokemon, and they are healing mine. According to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mabostiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you done eating, bud? <sighs> hey, Mabostiff, can can you see? Are your eyes open? I didn't think he had eyes before, so I just thought it was bad game program shit. It was an accident. It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man, I'm, I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes, hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring my boss stiff back to full health. I swear it. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Yerba. This is Seda. I'd say that Crichton has regained more of its original power. After it has jumped in the air, you should try pressing the B button again. It should glide now. Awesome. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Crichton. Alright. So the way with all that talking added up, I think we're at a good enough spot to end. Oh wait, that's actually a bad pair up. Okay. Cotton cotton weed's gonna make it work. Um I think that's a good spot for me to end this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying Pokemon Scarlet. Be sure to come back next time where we're gonna chase down Kofu. I think his name was, and battle him. Well, I hope we battle him for the water badge. As always, I will see you next episode. Bye bye.